Let's talk about sales taxes within your Peachtree software. Setting up sales tax codes so that we can apply them to sales we make to customers. Let's come here under the maintain pull down menu and come down to sales taxes. Now let's have a brief discussion of sales taxes within Peachtree. There are two areas. First, sales tax authorities and second is sales tax codes. Sales tax authorities are governments or other taxing agencies for which you're responsible to. And sales tax code is the rate comprised of one or more sales tax authorities. For example, let's say that you're in a jurisdiction that is responsible for city, county, and state sales tax and all three are combined into one tax and you're responsible for remitting that tax on to the three agencies so these three agencies the city county and state would be your tax authorities let's assume that each tax authority has a two percent sales tax so the combined rate is six percent this six percent is your sales tax code. Now let's look at this. Let's first come in to sales tax authorities. You can see that here within Bellwether Garden Supply we have these sales tax authorities. These first three here are county, this one, the fourth one is a state tax, fifth one is also a county, and then this one here we have a transportation tax. These are all tax authorities that we're responsible to depending on where we're selling our goods and services. In other words, where our vendor is located. So let's go up here and look at the first one, Cherokee County Sales Tax. When we set this up, we set up an ID and a description along with a tax rate. Here, Petrie is going to want to know who we pay this tax to. This is the Georgia, Georgia Department of Revenue. Let's click on this magnifying glass and see here's our list of vendors and here's the Georgia Department of Revenue. Down here, Pishri wants to know what GL account to credit this to when we handle and sell goods under this sales tax code. This is our sales tax payable account. You may need to talk to your accountant or CPA to get help with setting up this account. This is a liability account. Now, once we have our different sales tax authorities set up, we come in and set up sales tax codes. Let's go look at these. Maintain sales taxes, sales tax codes. Let's look at the first one, Cherokee County Sales Tax. Here we set up the sales tax code and the description. Then down here in the ID field we can hold down our shift key and hit our question mark key and this brings up our list of sales tax authorities that we have set up in our system so we can choose from the different sales tax authorities and bring them in to this sales tax code. This sales tax code for Cherokee County is comprised of two sales tax authorities. First is the Georgia State Sales Tax and second is the Cherokee County Sales Tax 4% and 6% respectively. I'm sorry, 4% and 2% respectively for a total of 6%. So let's go demonstrate this on an invoice. Let's come in here to Tasks and down to Sales Invoicing. And let's pull up a customer, Chapman Murphy Law Offices. Let's put $500 in here and let's come down and let's choose the Cherokee County Sales Tax. <coughs> You can see 
we have $30 here, which is 6% of $500. Close this without saving it. And go back to our sales tax code screen. And let's look at some of these sales tax codes. This one is also 6%. This one, this county here, is comprised of three tax authorities. We have both the state and the county, Fulton County. Fulton County also requires a transportation tax of 1%. Next, we'll talk about how we pay these sales taxes.